today's affirmation is I am the Christ, son of the living God. Whether you're feminine or male, gender don't matter. I am the Christ, son of the living God. I am the Christ, son of the living God. Open this space. I am the Christ, son of the living God. I am the Christ, son of the living God. I greet y'all in stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. We close the door on anyone and anything and any type of interference of lower frequency in any type of form, fashion, or intention. I hope everybody feeling good at all, for no reason at all, operating in the truest and highest version of your authentic self. As for me, Sabu to God, I am feeling good for no reason at all, operating in the truest and highest version of my authentic self. In the disconnection, there's a reconnection for those of us who know what we connected to. Then sometimes, in the disconnection there's a deeper disconnection for those who don't this connection because it's incomplete oneness with self I repeat this connection causes incomplete oneness of self so this is for the bold, confident, and beautiful. That's how we blossom. My name is Saul the God. Um, it's so much. <laughs> it's so much we have to go through as human beings to get to wherever we're trying to get to as human beings. Some of us only choose the human being type of way to do it. For a few of us, as human beings, we take the spiritual approach of doing things. I was having a conversation with a, with a companion and comrade, and I posed, and I posed the question if we not who we thought we were and most of us have discovered that beyond this flesh we are not who we thought we were some of us is still wrestling with that but for those of us who have discovered we are not who we thought we were I'm going to pose the same theory to you if we are not who we thought we were then our family is not who we thought they were. Many of us, especially the star seeds and the cosmic seeds and the galactic seeds, growing up have always felt like we didn't belong in the family that we was birthed to or birthed in. And that's, and, that's, and that's normal for those of us who resonate with that. Um, 
more so, many of us have felt like we ain't even been long on this planet. And that's normal for, for those of us who resonate with that. It's, it won't resonate with everybody. If it don't resonate with, with you, let it pass. It's not, it's, I'm not, I'm just, it's, I'm, it's evidently it's just not for you. I'm not talking to you. But if you ever feel your family is not your family, it has nothing to do with biological factors. Biologically, our family is our family. It's the family that we came to. But spiritually, it may not be. So, you ever feel like your family wasn't your family? Or your family is not who you thought they were? Not because they did anything to you to deserve it. And in some cases, and it's through some experiences, it may be the case. But... Because something that's happening in you. Have you ever felt like your family is not your family because what's happening in you? Not because they did anything, but because what's happening in you. And the reason that I point that out is because it's normal. Is it discussed much? No. And many things that I discuss are not openly discussed, but they should be. Because it involves the healing, it involves the growth, it involves the maturity, it involves the harmony, it involves the balance that need to be integrated as we move on, if we're moving on. It's so much that we can dive deep into, family, <laughs> that we'll be going on for days about it. And it's so much that's going on that we're going to be going, it's going to be going on for the rest of our lives, but it shouldn't be going on at the same level that it's always been going on. At least if we're going to go through the same thing we always been going through, we might as well be dealing with it on another level. I'll if you hear me. But it's so much that we could dive deep into and go in on, on a whole bunch of levels, on a whole bunch of layers, and dealing with a whole bunch of stuff to describe the war that's really going on with us human beings in spiritual realms, dealing with spiritual rankings, dealing with spiritual opposition or shadow work just so we can have our place or find our place in this whole grand scheme of things. It's a war presenting itself to every one of us in our minds and in our hearts and in the spiritual aspect of our soul. Um, our testimony comes through our test. And every sense impulse, whether it's flesh sensory or, or psyche sensory, every sense impulse gonna be tested. We need to exercise discernment. <laughs> we really, you know, we, we, we need to be staying hydrated. We need to be trying to find some time when we got time to sit still and listen to nature, get out of nature, meditate at home, in the convenience of your home, what have you. Um, so forth and so on. And all the things that can be discussed, the distractions, like Will Smith uh, slapping Chris Rock and all the other stuff that's going on, I'd rather take the opportunity and the time that I use to come and drop these videos to discuss and communicate things, real life things that we can take and drop real life jewels that we can extract tools from and be able to use to take immediate action and steps in our lives where needed. Um, 
it's a lot going on, family. <laughs> you know, uh, and though I might not see people on a personal level or in y'all everyday life, I see you and I feel you. Trust me. <laughs> Um, I'm aware of those who need to see some fruit in their life. Just as much as I'm aware of those who need to spread some more seeds in their life. I get it. Um, but don't hold on to the very thing that need to be released for your blessing. And for, us, or for those of us who overextend, don't release more than you can, more than you can chew. Cause we, cause we overextend. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm very uh, at fault for overextending. Um, at one point in my life. So I know how that could be to try to find balance between the two. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to be, we don't want to be super stingy. And then, and then at the same time, we don't want to be over giving, but there's a balance between giving and receiving, you know, and depending on where we at in our journey and what we have to experience and what we have already experienced, you know, we should be in a, in, in a place where we can come to the culmination to find the equation of of what that means to each and every one of us on an individual level and on a collective level. Um, in this shift that's going on, there's a, there's a very important need to recognize whatever is shifting in your world, you, you are the shift that's causing it. <clears throat> you are causing the shift in your life. My life going through a shift. But I also recognize that I am the shift that's causing the shift in my life that I'm going through. And and in awareness of that, I'm empowered by it. Feeling good for no reason at all still. You are the shift in your life. It's just about staying aware of who's driving. Because if you ain't driving, somebody is. And it ain't bothering somebody's <laughs> in your life. It's about you in your life, just like it's about me and mine. It's all about you. And a lot of times we gotta remember where we when and 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 on our way to on our way to going where we're getting to. Sometimes we gotta remember where we started. We gotta remember where we started because if we can remember where we started as we go on and move forward and going where we get into, we be we become more aware of is what we following energizing us? Is what is what's driving us really energizing us or is what's driving us draining us? I'll pause for a minute to, to let that sink in. Are you following what's energizing you? Whether it's your dream, your vision, or whatever it is. Are you following what's energizing you? Are you following? Or are you following what's draining you? When we spiritually on the right track, family. And when we spiritually on the right squad. The battle ain't no fight. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking for. When we spiritually on the right track, the battle that the battles that we face isn't no fight at all, man. <laughs> we still talk about being connected and talk being connected and in complete union with oneself and being disconnected in the in, in the incomplete union of oneself. I started in the beginning. I am the Christ and the Son of God. That was our affirmation. And I ain't talking about no Jesus. My name is Samuel, also known as Sawu. And I'm not on no cross. And neither are you. 
But crossing me is like crossing your cells. For me to cross you would be like crossing my own cells. <laughs> to these the higher truths. You gotta you gotta grow there. You gotta get you gotta you gotta grow there to get there, but you gotta get there to to, to, to take growth there. We not on no cross, but crossing others is like crossing ourselves and and, and though I make it sound slick, it's a grave of reports because do I do Duality should be shifting, shifting and integrating us in the union of yin and yang, masculine and feminine, to see the harmony in all things. And a lot of us still wrestling with that because we want to hold to on the things that give us our identification on a matrix third degree level, whatever it may be. I'm not on a cross. And crossing me is like crossing the very cells in your body. The only difference is, I just know it and you may not. So it, so it, allow, it allows me to walk on a different type of water, even when I'm walking on land. And I love what I do. And it's important for us to love what we do, whatever it is we do, when or uh, and and whenever we do it, because if you don't love what you're doing, it's hurting you more than it's helping you. And when we don't love what we're doing, it'll have our hearts in our wallet. Because of the things or the people and the places that may be connected to it. Don't have your heart in your wallet. <laughs> I know what it's like to be in that place. And all I do, I love what I do. And all you do, love what you do. Love who you are. And see God in everything. <laughs> More so, be able to see where it's not. Forgiveness is the thing, family. Still, forgiveness is the thing. And with and with forgiveness being the thing, I'm going to put it like this. Choose what you call friends carefully. Because it might be the enemy choosing you. And when you forgive your enemies. It don't mean you have to forget their name. But forgive them for your sake. This is one of the. Hardest lessons. But most important lessons. For the black sheep. For the outcast, for the generational curse breakers, who were the black sheep and the outcasted, it's it's the most trying lesson for us types. <laughs> yeah, for us types, because the layers, the levels, and the depth that we have to go through deep emotional healing to do this thing that we call light work to be a help and a healer not only after going through after doing the work in oneself but to be a help and a healing in the lives of others if you the generational curse breaker Man, I got to salute you. If you're the generational curse breaker in your family, your mission residing in the divine. 
not in the people who lives you do the work in. Our mission resides in the divine because I'm here to separate the wheat from the tares. So this ain't talking to everybody and this ain't talking for everybody. <laughs> and you just can't put yourself on this bandwagon. You're, if you're a generational curse breaker, family, your mission resides in the divine, not in the validation of people, not whether they like you or not. None of that, none of that humanly earthly shit. But that's why my ancestors chose me, because I stayed in, I stayed in, in connection, I stayed in memorization, <laughs> and I came here and, and, and broke open the Kasha records and remembered that my mission resided in the divine, and and and, and in the divine <laughs> was always my protection, was always my abundance. Was all was 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 always my everything, and I ain't say that I didn't fall in rough patches. I ain't go through some trying times. I ain't go through some hell, if I may, cause I have, but I ain't get stuck there. So to the generational curse breakers, your mission is to reside <laughs> in the memory that you work for the divine, not for people. That's why your ancestors chose you, if your ancestors chose you. But my ancestors chose me. <laughs> I ain't choose myself for this. <laughs> um, and I know what it's like to be, to, to, have, to have been under attack since you came out your mama womb, because I endured that myself. And I beat the odds, as I said, I ain't get stuck there. What you see is the evidence of that. What I express is the evidence of that. It didn't start with you, but you had to end it with you. And we were the least ones expected to be able to do it. <laughs> Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. I was the one least expected to do it too. So I'm gonna give you a round of applause as I give myself one. I'm glad to be here in this timeline, family. It's what I came for. If it's what you came for and you recognize that, celebrate it. It ain't all bad. And it definitely ain't all good. But we're here to make the best of every moment that we got. Because any moment that we have may just be our last. Um... I want peace for all who come across this message. I want happiness for all who come across this message. I want health for all who come across this message. I want safety for all who come across this message. I want success for all who come across this message. I want the best for your life. <laughs> Because in wanting the best for your life, it keeps the door open for the best to come into mind. Most of all, have the same heart. Vanity blurs our deception. I've danced with the devil before. <laughs> I know what that's like. Have you ever danced with the devil? If so, remember, vanity blurs our perception. And, and dancing with the devil and knowing what that's like and then coming out on the other side of that. Every now and then, depending on what needs to be done, <laughs> what, what we being faced with, or what I'm being faced with. Every now and then I have to tap back into that dark energy and transmute and, you know, shift some things around to get things back in order. And you will have to, too. Love and light got a shadow, family. Love and light does have a shadow. <laughs> I say that to say, I'm not better than nobody. I don't think I'm better than no one of you who come across this message. That's why I'm here doing it. 
I am what shadow work look like. Even more so on what the light looked like. But um, I'm not better than anybody. I'm here to build up everybody. And in saying that, I want to say that even though it may feel like fire <laughs> sometimes, and it, and it does, even though it may feel like fire sometimes, all smoke ain't no smoke. Even though it may feel like fire sometimes, all smoke ain't no smoke. With that being said, we gotta learn how to choose our battles wisely. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and definitely physically, cause we ain't got no business putting our hands on nobody else's churn. Y'all seen what Will Smith just did to Chris Rock, man. <laughs> Woo! Salute to, salute to Chris Rock, man. It take resilience to be able to basically turn the other cheek because I know it's a lot of us out there that say, boy, I would've bust that and I would've did this and I would've did that. But salute to Chris Rock. Um, and pardon me for using him even to make, pardon me for using what he went through to even make uh, fun of it. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm in error for that because he's a human being just like me. And that's the point, you know, we here to be better than we never been. And, and we're gonna have to be aware of when we in error and be able to correct that. Whatever we go through <laughs> has a lot to do with, a lot to do. I'm gonna say it again, cause it sounds sick, but it ain't. Whatever we go through has a lot to do with, a lot to do. I say that to say when it's my time, I plan on having peace in my mind. And for me to have peace in my mind when it's my time, I got to establish it right now. <laughs> the kingdom of God is at hand for those who catch it. And it's a cult teacher, so you're going to have to catch it to get it. Everybody dies, family. But not everybody lives. <laughs> we all get old. But not all of us grow up. How you share yourself is exactly how you're going to share your, 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 your health. How you share yourself is exactly how you share your health. So we're not striving to be popular. <laughs> we're striving to have pro polarity. We're not driving to be popular. We thrive to have polarity. Because popularity ain't got no peace. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and holiness. Feel good for no reason at all. I love y'all family. Thanks for the like, share, subscribe, donations, uh, uh, recommends. Thanks for shopping with me. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for being you. And thanks for allowing me to be me. I am Saul the God. Peace.